Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create basic formulas in OpenOffice Calc. Now if you're not familiar with OpenOffice Calc I suggest you go to my YouTube page and check out this tutorial I created which is OpenOffice Calc spreadsheet for beginners and it seems like quite a popular tutorial and people seem to follow this tutorial quite well so that will give you some fundamental explanation of OpenOffice Calc and I suggest if you're a beginner you should really check out this tutorial first so what we're going to do is open up OpenOffice Calc and like always we're going to save our documents I'm just going to save it I'm just going to overwrite this file I'll give your document the correct file name here just call it whatever you want I'll call it formulas tutorial let's just save this so we've got a blank spreadsheet here and we're going to create you know some formulas some examples and we're going to see a basic explanation of how these work so in this first column I'm going to put in staff wages and in this second column in fact what we do I'm just going to right click here and put insert column and I'm going to put in a uh, month here staff wages uh, phone bill fuel cost and we'll also add in internet access cost. So these are some basic examples of some costs that we might have within our business. Um, so I'm going to select the number one here, I'm going to make these bold. Let's just save this. And I'm going to type in January here. And to get the other months, what I'm going to do is hover my mouse over this little cursor. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to hover my mouse over this little curse, this little black box in the corner. And I'm going to drag down January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, December here. And it's going to generate those months for me automatically. That's a quick way of generating the months. And I'm going to select column B, C, D and E. So I'm going to highlight these columns. I'm going to right click and format cell. And I'm going to select currency here and click OK. So let's put some example data in here. We'll say staff wages on this particular month was 2000. And I'm going to copy this cell and paste it to here. And we'll say for the first five months it was 2000. And then we took on a new member of staff and it went to 3600, let's say. And we paste that down. And then we took on another member of staff and it went to 4800. So we can just say that these were our staff wages for these given months in this particular year. And then the phone bill, that could fluctuate. So let's just say the first month it was 140 for a few months. This is probably going to change over the months. It's not going to be exact, exactly the same every month. So we will put some different figures into this column, which we need to do really. So I'm just randomly typing in some figures for these particular months. So this is our phone bill cost, our fuel costs. Let's just say we started off with 500 the first few months. And to keep adding in some figures it doesn't really matter what you put in here but you want to try and make them a bit different some of them can be the same but you want to just try and fluctuate a little bit here in these costs and internet access pretty much that can be the same let's say for most of the months in these last few months it increased for a reason so we've got we've got this basic data in here. We need to import some data so we can we can create some formulas to, to do some calculations. Um, so the first basic one that we want to calculate is going to be 
how much did we spend in January, for example. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but I want to actually show you how to do it in this manual method. So let's put in here in this last column total cost here, and then we can work out the total cost. There's a few different ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a manual method. So to understand this, really what we need to do is pinpoint certain cells in this this document. So cell this cell here, if I click on it, it tells me it's cell B2 in this corner here. You can see B2 and it highlights it as well. This is row, column B, this is row 2. And this will be C2 and this will be D2 and this will be E2. So we can write a formula here. We can say we can say this cell here, so this particular cell here equals B2 plus C2 plus D2 plus E2. And then when we hit enter key, it's going to give us a grand total. It's going to say, so really what it's saying is these cells here added together equals this value here. So that's a quick, simple way of creating a formula. Now, to save time, we don't want to keep typing that in for every single one to do that calculation. We could do, for example, on this one here, we, you know, we could say this will be B7. So we do B7 plus C7 plus D7 plus E7. And we could write that into here and it will give us the calculation. But if we click on this cell here and hover our mouse over in the bottom corner, we can drag down. And it's going to give us, it's going to calculate all of them for you. So it's going to fluctuate them. So in this, in this instance, we was on row two. So when we did that drag down, it looked at this particular cell and logic said that these ones were going to be B3, C3, D3 and E3. So it, so it added these ones together. So now you can simply create this formula to calculate all of these grand totals. Very, very simple. Maybe one thing we should do is click in this top corner here in the left and we're going to left align it with all the information. It will be a bit cleaner to see. So that's how you can write a basic formula, a very simple formula to add all of the data up on these rows. Now you may want to add a column up and we could do a similar process. So let's take, for example, um, this B column and we want to work out what did we spend in the whole year as staff wages. So we could do, this will be cell B2, B3, B4, B5, all the way down to B13. So we could say equals B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5. We just keep doing this. B11 and then B12 and then B13 and we hit enter. So really what it's done is taken all of these values and give us a grand total at the bottom. And then we can drag this one across here and here. We can in fact drag it all the way across to, the, to this cell here. And it's going to give us our grand totals for our phone bill, our fuel costs, our internet access. And then we've got a grand total of all of the all of these costs added together to give us our real grand total here. So we could maybe highlight this column and make it bold. So now we can see just by creating one simple formula, we can copy that formula down and copy it across two different formulas we made here. And we can easily do our calculations or get some general calculations for this given year. So I hope that makes sense. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and just as you add things together, we could have put you know, a minus element in here and we could have deducted costs away as well. And you can put any type of data into this spreadsheet. It doesn't have to be these specific columns. You can put any type of information into here. And as long as it has a consistent row of information and a consistent column, then you can add these values up and get some grand totals. And it gives you a quick overview of your business. I use spreadsheets like this to just get a good understanding of, you know, where my costs are uh, and what I'm spending just to see at a glance a quick overview of a given month or a whole year. So I hope this basic tutorial on formulas will help you and we're going to go through on the next tutorial and create some much more advanced formulas and we're going to see how we can use those formulas to do much more complex calculations. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.